Hi everyone, welcome to BVV. Today I have this 10x10 cold trap with me. It has KF25 in and out ports. Uh, you can see it's about 10 inch diameter and then it had a 10 inch height as well on the inside. This port is just a few inches from the bottom. You have about three inches here to play with. It does hold about 3.5 liters before it fills up enough liquid to actually uh, mess up your airflow. So it has this lid on it. It's a glass lid just for solving compatibility. And then on the inside we have this pot that comes out. This pot can be filled with dry ice and uh, alcohol or you can just do ice water if the temperature is what you need. It just sits on there with this o-ring. See an orange o-ring around the outside. It's very simple uh, design and easy to clean. They're both silicone uh, seals so you can clean with all solvents and they're very compatible. I'll put that back on. Inside our cold trap, you can see it's a hollow base. I'll put that back together. Now just for assembly, you would put your dry ice and alcohol in your 1.5 gallon pot. And you can sit that right inside. It slides on in. Now uh, after your dry ice and alcohol is inside, you have the optional lid to use. I use it just for protection so nothing boils over by accident with all the dry ice making um, the ethanol or any solvent you have in there uh, bubble up. So I just set that on top. It's not going to pull a vacuum or anything. It should just sit on top. It'll actually uh, release gas as the dry ice uh, sublimates. We have the KF25 ports on the side and they each come with a KF25 clamp and ring. So it just goes like that. You'll connect this side to your system and then the other side here, you connect to your vacuum pump. So this is a good cold trap to use for any KF25 vacuum pumps, like a Pro Series or an Edwards or a Welch vacuum pump, something like that. And then the, uh, the micron rating on this cold trap alone is about 30 microns. If your uh, application is lower than that, this isn't the right uh, cold trap to use. But for general application, it does work very well. An expensive way to protect your vacuum pump, um, a good add-on for any lab. Thanks for watching.